Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Sumit and once again I welcome all of you to Python video series by BISPtraining.com. Since last few videos we'll be working on Python integration and this is my new video in continuation of that. So in this video I'm going to explain you that how can we integrate Python with Facebook and how can we use a Python code to write a post on a Facebook page. As all of you know that Facebook is a social networking website and we are allowed to create pages on Facebook. So by using Python script, I'm going to post something on my Facebook pages. So this methodology will be helpful for them, those who want to make to post frequently on their Facebook pages. So in order to do that, they should have a Facebook page ID and as well as the security token, the user access security token. So let's start writing a post on a Facebook page by using Python. So the very first thing I have done is I have created a new page and I give that page name as a test page. That's a test page. So I'm the owner of this page. And as you can see here, there's a post which I have been already sent through Python. So I'm going to write a script again and uh, I'm going to execute that script again. And then I will be, will be going to pass a message and that message will be post on this Facebook page. So whenever you create a page, we need to get the ID of this page. So to get the ID of the page, click on about. And when you scroll down at the bottom, at last, you will find out the Facebook page ID. So I'm going to copy and paste this page ID in a notepad. FB page ID. So once we got the page ID, we'll, I would be requiring the security token. And to access the security token, I visit a website developer.facebook.com. So to know more about Facebook APIs and developer.facebook.com, you can visit my previous videos where I have explained about Facebook developers account and how to create a new app onto this developers.facebook.com. So I have already built apps. So I have already created two apps, BISP app and ClickSense app. And I'm going to use the security token of BISP app. So I'm going to use the security token for my account and the Facebook page ID. So in combination of that, I'll use it to write a post on the Facebook page by using Python code. So to get the security token, I click on tools and support, click on graph API explorer and here, so that's the screen will open and here I'm going to use this BISP app. So I click on BISP app and click on submit, simply get user access token. So when you click on get user access token, you need to make sure that you have selected all of them. So I click on get access token and click on submit. So when I click on submit, you see I'm getting the ID and the name and the use the access token I'm getting here. So I copy this access token and paste in the notepad along with my page ID. Now let's start writing the code. So for this, I start a new page and the very first thing we'd be requiring is the Facebook directory, the Facebook package. So I have already, I have already included or installed Facebook API on my system. So import Facebook, then I'm going to create a function here, def main CFG is equal to, and in this CFG, I'm going to pass page underscore ID colon 
here I'm going to pass the ID and access underscore token so I'm going to paste my page ID and token here so that's my page ID and that's my token so I copy this token and paste it here that's my token. Next, I create an API is equal to get underscore API CFG. The message, I want to print a message as a post. So, welcome to BISP. Trainings. And status is equal to API dot put underscore wall underscore post message. So whatever message we pass here, that message will be post on the wall, the API. So this API basically it will get a get the security token or page access token by using this page ID and access token. So for that, I again create a function here. I'm going to create a new function def and that function name is get underscore API and CFG will be passed onto it. Then I create a new instance of uh, gra Facebook graph API. So is equal to Facebook dot graph API and CFG and here will pass access underscore token. So it should be go within single quotes. Then is equal to graph dot get underscore object that where we would like to post it. So it should be me underscore accounts page underscore access underscore token is equal to I set it to none because we'll be going to get a new page access token based on the page ID and the users access token so for page in rest data if page ID equal equal CFG equal equal CFG if it equal to page underscore ID then we'll get the page underscore access underscore token is equal to page access underscore graph is equal to Facebook dot graph API page underscore access underscore token and it will return graph and this value will be stored into this API and then finally I'm going to call the main function so I call if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore so it will call main function so now let's test it so first I'll save it I'll save this as FB1 and let's run it so to run it I simply click on F either we can press F5 or we can click on run and run module so if everything is fine it will simply display a blank screen and this symbol means the process has been exe successfully executed. Let's go back to our test page and let's have a look whether the post has been posted or not. So I get back to my page. I click on page again or you can we can simply click on home as well. And when I click on home, 
so yeah, I got a message here welcome to BISP trainings so like this we can paste or we can post messages on Facebook pages by using Python this is a very interesting method or integration by which we can post messages on our Facebook pages by a single point so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel if you want more videos on python keep watching have a nice day goodbye